Hello and welcome to another Dell SonicWall video tutorial. I'm David Matthew with the Security Engineering Escalation Group. In this video, I'll be covering the Dell SonicWall Soho Wireless out of box setup. Here are the topics I'll be covering for the Dell SonicWall Soho Wireless. What you get out of the box, front and back views, cabling and powering on, setting up the appliance as a network gateway, the initial setup using the startup wizard, the wireless setup wizard, and registering the firewall. Thank you for purchasing the Dell SonicWall Soho Wireless. Out of the box, you'll get a Dell SonicWall Soho W, three antennas, an ethernet cable, a standard power adapter and cord, and the quick start guide. This is your Dell SonicWall Soho Wireless front and back views. On the front of your Dell SonicWall Soho W are your Ethernet port indicator LEDs, a USB port, and your various power status LEDs. On the back side of the Soho W is your power connector, three antenna screws, ports X0 through X4, and your console port. Let's discuss cabling the firewall as a network gateway. Locate port X0, also called LAN, and port X1, also called WAN. Connect the WAN port to the cable or DSL modem for internet access. Connect the LAN port to your PC, laptop, game console, printer, or other network devices. Other ports such as X2, X3, and up can be assigned to other networks. In this scenario, the X0 or LAN port is connected directly to the PC and the X1 or WAN port is connected to a DSL or cable modem for internet access. In this scenario, the X0 or LAN port is connected to a network switch. To the network switch, you may connect your PC, printer, game console, or other network devices. The X1 or WAN port is connected to a DSL or cable modem for internet access. To power on the firewall, plug the power cable from the power adapter to a power outlet. On the front of the firewall, an orange LED blinks during startup, which may take up to two minutes. If your DSL or cable modem has extra switch ports, you may directly connect them to printers, smart TVs, or game consoles. For PCs or servers that need Dell SonicWall firewall or security services, plug them directly to a Dell SonicWall port or to a network switch connected to a Dell SonicWall port. To access the Dell SonicWall admin user interface, connect a PC to the LAN interface. There you will receive an IP address from the Dell SonicWall appliance. To access the Dell SonicWall, open a secure browser to the address 192.168.168.168. Now let's take a walk through the Dell SonicWall setup wizard. This is your welcome page. Press next. This is your administrator credential page. The administrator default username is admin and the default password is the word password. To change the administrator default password, enter the old password, which is the word password, and enter a new password, then press next. Here, the WAN port detected a DHCP server and retrieved the network information from the DHCP server. If we wish to manually configure the WAN port, Click on Manual Configure. This option is for a static configuration. For this demo, we will accept the DHCP network configuration. Press Next. Now you've successfully configured the initial setup of your product as a gateway. Press Done. Now that the setup wizard is done, we can test for internet connectivity. On the Dell SonicWall management interface, go to System Diagnostics. Scroll down to the Diagnostic tool and select Check Network Settings. Under Check Network Settings General Network Connections, select the appropriate checkboxes and test buttons. You should get successful test responses. But if you get errors, the most common cause is a misconfigured cable connection. If you go to your wireless status page, you will notice that your WLAN is not set up. You can configure your wireless access with the wireless wizard. On the configuration menu, select wireless guide to configure the WLAN radio interface. For the wireless LAN setting, we will accept the default. For the WLAN radio setting, 
click OK on the pop-up. In this scenario, the SSID name is auto-populated as SonicWall, but you can change the SSID to your preference. For example, I'll change it to TZ Wireless Demo. Select a radio mode from the drop-down menu. For this demo, we will use 2.4 GHz 802.11 mixed mode. For the other options, we will accept the defaults. For the WLAN security settings, you have two options, WPA slash WPA2 security mode and connectivity mode. The WPA slash WPA2 secure mode is recommended. Press next. For the WPA mode setting, you can select from the authentication type drop-down menu. For this demo, we will use WPA PSK. For the access point password, we will be using Dell SonicWall, but feel free to use a password of your choice. We will not be setting up a virtual access point. Press Next. Your wireless wizard is complete. Press Finish. Now on your wireless active tab, you can see that the WLAN is enabled and active. Now your wireless clients can connect using the SSID and password to have network access. Now that your Dell SonicWall has been initialized by the setup wizard, you can register your Dell SonicWall by clicking one of the register links on the system status page. To register your Dell SonicWall from the license management page, enter your MySonicWall username and password and click submit. If you do not have a MySonicWall account, you can create one by clicking Create My Sonic Wall Account. A Create Account pop-up will appear where you can enter the needed information and click the Register button to register. To learn more about Dell Sonic Wall security products, visit dellsoftware.com slash solutions slash network hyphen security. For more videos, visit dellsoftware.com slash support. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.